This group of conservationists are just from a regular patrol in Abidjan's lagoon. Their prize catch, a crocodile. Led by American conservation biologist Matt Shali, the team works to limit the risk of confrontation between humans and crocodiles by rescuing the beast. This, especially as the construction boom in Côte d'Ivoire, is driving construction dangerously close to the city's lagoon. As the city has become bigger and bigger and the people that live here depend less and less on fishing and hunting, um, crocodiles have kind of found the, the lagoon system to be a sort of a, a tranquil retreat. And so they're kind of repopulating the area. The team is largely made up of rescue workers and forestry agents, and Shirley teaches them how to humanely capture and relocate the reptiles, which are protected under Ivorian law. We have already learned about the different techniques, such as how to capture them, the different security measures and precautions to take when you're catching them. We've learned all of that from the doctor, so I can say that now we are comfortable with what we are doing. The last time a crocodile attack incident was recorded was more than 30 years ago. Rescue workers have however dealt with the crocodiles in the recent past and witnessed firsthand the effect they can have. And that is the fear that led to the government-sponsored program. For sure there will be human-wildlife conflict because human beings are not used to crocodiles. For example, when the construction of the bay is finished, then people will easily see crocodiles from the bay and they will get confused. So I think a lot of awareness needs to be raised in that sense so that in case there is human-wildlife conflict, then people can call on us to come and remove the crocodile where he is and where he presents a danger to the population and take him to his own environment. Once captured, the crocodiles are taken to the Abidjan Zoo before being relocated to different parks in the country. Leslie Murungu, CGTN.